So we are looking at the 93 rated version of El Wara, and you can see here, he's got 5-star skill, 4-star weak foot. He's got a better rating than the SBC that came out. He can play right wing, right mid, cam striker, just like the SBC as well. 90 acceleration, 99 sprint speed, 92 composure, really good agility and balance, fantastic short and long pass, great long shots, great finishing, not the best shot power, but we'll talk about that in a second. In terms of play style, he's got finesse shot plus, incisive pass, tick attacker, rapid plus, and quick step. Now, in terms of what this card offers you compared to the SBC, there's not too much. Now, if we jump over to Footbin, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Of course, the price is a big difference here at 1.9 million, whereas the SBC is coming at 684. Now, you are paying for plus fours, twos, ones, and threes. In terms of play styles, they're the same, and everything else is kind of similar. But for chem styles, we've gone for a dead eye. And the main reason was to get that shot power up to 96. For me, that is the only issue I have with the card. Now, in terms of what he offers, becomes a 94 rated right wing, left wing, striker, cam, and 95 at centre forward. Now, we are going to be playing him on the left-hand side today in our 4 2 3 one system. We are also going to be playing in foot champs. We're going to see how we get on in weekend league. And we're going to have him on that right-hand side. Test out his finesse, test out his skill moves, test out, of course, the pace. His main role is basically like a, a secondary striker with our main striker being up front of Asabio and then Thierry Henry on the other side. Now, I do use Rapid Plus a lot, so I'm interested to see how this card feels with that Rapid Plus. But having the finesse shot is an extra bonus. You can see here our opponent's team is very strong. Maybe not the strongest, but it's definitely up there. And let's just see how El Warren does for us today. Now, I'm interested to know what his agility and balance is like. Last year, this card was absolutely mental. If you played last year, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The, this year hasn't had as much love until now. So let's see how we get on with him. Al Rowan on the ball. Good skill. Not the best pass there for me. But we do win the ball back almost. But you can see he's going to be down here on this right-hand side. Causing problem on the wing. Now we are quite high up in champs ranking. So our opponent is going to be a very good level. And we're already having a bit of a possession issue here already. So let's just see how we get on with this review of Al Rowan. Straight on the ball here. Lovely little one-two. Can use him as a dummy. Play over the top. I think he's just on side of our time that perfectly I have. That's an absolutely terrible touch there from Alwar. We do get away with it. Lovely skill though. He doesn't quite get the shot off. So interesting start from him there. You can see the role he's going to be playing in for us today though. We do find him. Lovely rapid in between. Pass one. And a green time finish. And this is why this card is going to cause serious, serious problems for people. You saw that explosive touch between the two defenders. He peeled off. Gave us the space. Bad goalkeeper movement. Gave us that green time finish into open net. Very, very impressed so far. Seems to be exactly what we wanted to do. A lovely through ball into a Sabio. Keepers come out and we've hit the bar. How we've not had an assist there, I don't know. But you can see there, we're keeping that pressure on. We're looking for El Warren if we can. He's come inside. Lovely bit of skill and a really good tackle there from Kunde. Trying to get that finesse shot off. We've got that support straight into El Warren's feet. Straight on the turn as well. Ah, oh, he's just on. Ah, oh, it's a really bad touch, though, from me. Not the best pass. We do get a foul, though. Got away with that. We'll have a look at set pieces while we're here. So he's got 96, 84, 92, and 85. So not the best. They are not terrible, but they're definitely not the best. So what we're going to do is come short. So Socrates on that run. Dummy run in. Trying to find that space on the top here to Pedro Porro. Nowhere to go. Reset the attack. Now Warren's moving into that space. We're going to use him as a dummy pass. Couldn't quite find him there. Very unlucky. Again, keeping that pressure on, though. El Warren on that right foot. Green time and a lovely finesse shot finish. Got a little bit lucky there, but a very good high tackle. And not noticing a problem between left foot or right foot. I'd just say his first touch animation is a little bit inconsistent. But to you, I'm not really noticing too much bad about this card, which is to be expected with the stats he has, the play styles he has as well. Lovely deception. El Warren on the ball here. Bit of skill. Got that space. That lovely through ball into Sabio. Return the favour, not quite. Very obvious from me there. Made it a bit too predictable, I think. We do keep that pressure on again. Again, bad pass. Again, keeping the pressure on. El Waran straight onto the ball. Into that crew. Oh, I tried to get that finesse up there. Very good defensive block by that Lucio Fantasy. Let's go counter attack. Oh, it's got to be a red card, ref, surely. We had El Waran running through there. We'll have to see if it's a red card or not. Let's go El Waran on attack. Lovely tar. Oh, yeah, try to get that Lucio sent off. Well, and that's going to be half time. So, so far, he's done exactly what it says on the tin. Super fast, fantastic at skill moves. Really good at finesse shot and left foot finishing as well. Finesse shot on his right. If we have a look at his performances. I have been sort of like abusing him a little bit in terms of giving him the ball non-stop. 
But you can see here, nine dribbles complete out of 17. I've been doing skill moves I wouldn't normally do in situations. That's why the dribbling is so low. But shooting, two on target, two goals. Only one shot blocked out of all three. Passing has been absolutely fantastic, five out of six. Let's keep him on this side. I generally think you could play up front if you need him to. Right wing, left wing also seems to be really consistent as well. So far, very, very impressed by this card. In terms of differences, I don't think there's too much really between that and the SBC. Yes, you could argue that, of course, the play styles are the same. The stats are just a little bit weaker in terms of the lower rated. But I don't think you would notice them straight off the bat, to be honest with you. So we'll have to see how we get on in the second half now. Right, can't attack. Oh, not quite. Good tackle from Goretzka. We are getting pinned in at the moment. Our opponent's really stepped up his efforts. Socrates. Bit slow there. We do get past that tackle, though. And he's moved his keeper. And a right-footed finish into the corner. Bad defending from our opponent. Also, I couldn't pronounce Socrates' name. Looks like a rage quit is coming as well. Awaran with a hat-trick here. Three shots on target. Three goals. That's how clinical he's been. Let's go jump into a second game and see how we get on in the second game. So into our second game then, as I was saying with El Aran, he's been absolutely clinical with us in terms of his left foot or right foot ability. Also, he's very quick on the left stick dribble and the skill animation, as well as having the pace that he had. It does remind me a lot of his World Cup hero card last year. But imagine that on absolute boost and crazy better in terms of bad English, but crazy better in terms of what he offers. Now, let's see how we do in this game. Our opponent, again, has got a very strong team. Well, Warren's going to be playing in the same position for us on that left or right-hand side to cut in and finesse if we need him to. I'm not having the best start here in this game, let's be honest. But there's a better tackle. We win the ball back. Apparently, we can't. At any moment, the game wants to give us the ball. That could be fantastic. Go. Again, we don't actually win the ball back again. Got a very tough game on our hands by the looks of it or get games against us. Can we win the ball here? There we go. Right, a bit of composure. Good passing. Now we're running in that space already. Love that. Now we've got ourselves a Sabio running in. Back into El Waran. Lovely touch against Bastoni. Oh, don't keep hold of it. And again, very good tackle. Quite unlucky there. But again, you can see on that counter-attack how quick he can be. Right, counter-attack. Maybe I'm noticing it's a problem with El Waran. He doesn't seem to attack straight away on this right-hand side when we've got the ball. But that's a really good tackle. Now we've got that counter-attack on. Poor passer, I have to say there. Not the best pass then. Nowhere to go. Just reset the attack. We're trying to find Socrates nearly there. We do intercept. And now Warren hasn't registered the pass. Cheers, game. Bit of skill to open up into Rapid again. Lovely touch round. Oh, I try to get the finesse open. But you can see just how quick he is to open up the space and turn on the angle. Now Warren on that last man there. Oh, it's a lovely touch and I've messed it up myself. I didn't think he was going to touch it as well as he did then. That's a poor for me. That's an easy opportunity as well. We just wasted. Good double team. El Waran again. Bit of skill. Open up. Oh, okay, no ball roll scoop. Then he's going to slide tackle instead. No worries. Well, let's go. Can attack. El Waran picks the ball up. Little ball roll in. Sabio. Can we play that? What a through ball. And we get ourselves a lovely assist there from El Waran. What a through ball into the space. Just showing you a different side to his game there and what he can offer on that counter attack. What a through ball into Asabio there. 1-0 one up in this game. A very difficult game. We've not really had much to show you in terms of attack. Right, counter attack. Henri running down this side. Still looking for El Warren. He's not actually there yet. Lovely cut back into the finesse. The little dummy. And we get ourselves a sweaty goal. Bit jammy. But he's in the right place. And it looks like we're going to get another rage quit. This is what this card can do. Force your opponents, don't get me wrong, we got very lucky with that goal. But forcing our opponents to quit with a lovely finish there. Very clinical from this guy. Very, very impressed in what he's managed to offer. This game, not too much, but that through ball for the assist was absolutely outrageous. Three out of eight dribbles again, ignore that. We're doing skill moves, etc. One shot on target. The other one didn't even count as a block, so there you go. That's how broken the game is. So 100%. But passing. Two passes out of three complete. One assist, one key pass. Fantastic through ball. Let's go jump over to footbin now. So, of course, as you can see here, he's still about 1.9 million. We will refresh to see if his price has come up or down since the review. And he's about, he's gone up. So, he's almost 2 million coins. Compared to the SBC card, I generally don't think there's much difference. I'll be honest with you. Yes, you could argue the stats, of course, is a major difference. But in terms of price, not at all. We went for a dead eye on this card. And that was really to maximize the shot power and finishing. And you can just see how clinical he was. His passing. 
Absolutely fantastic at 85, 99. The speed of him having the rapid plus and the finesse shot. Left foot, right foot, really doesn't matter. If you love skill moves, he's also absolutely fantastic for that as well. And overall, just a crazy impressive card for what he offers. But as always, if you have any questions about this card or any other card, comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, press that like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.